coming? Would anyone like to hear him? Yes! Okay, so the halfway house in, everyone remember it? Mine is David Paul. We would always go here for a few pints after work before they went home. Now there's two rules to the halfway house in. First rule, if you weren't a regular, you weren't welcome. Second rule, if you weren't a local, you were not welcome. I say in that one evening, a Scottish couple walk into the halfway house in. Not being locals, not being regulars, they were told to get out of there pretty quickly. However, on their way out, a group of miners who worked at the uh, mine at the time uh, took one to their wing and said, you know what, come sit with us, we'll let you stay the night here. Um, so, they sat with them and they got to know them. They got to know the Scots the only way they knew how. They got them extremely drunk. Now, it turns out these Scots had fled from Scotland to get married here in England, as their parents were allowed to marry there. It also turns out they were quite wealthy. They planned to come down when it's past that long windy road back again on the way here, on horseback, with this very expensive saddle. Now back in those days, if you owned a saddle, you were only the upper class. You had a lot of money, um, and saddles, saddles sold for quite a bit as well. So the nine of sport, if they could get their hands on this saddle, they could sell it on for a few extra quid. Um, so yeah, they came up with a plan. Their plan was to ambush the Scots on the day of their wedding at the bottom of when it's past, and steal this expensive saddle off them. So, a few months pass and then the wedding comes round. It's a lovely summer's day, the birds are chirping, the lake is flowing, you can hear the water in the background, and the Scots come down when it's past, and a lovely white horse with its very expensive saddle. They get to the bottom, uh, where Steve Lillard cabin is today, and the miners, uh, who were a couple of them, were in there at the bottom. Uh, now at first, the, the couple, uh, the, uh, the couple to be, um, we thought they were there to congratulate him. And so one of them punched the husband to be around the head and knocked him out. They started to beat up his wife as well before she started to scream. Now her scream alerted a nearby town folk who came running to see what was going on and running to help. However, when they got there, it was a bit too late. What the man had done to stop the woman screaming was drag both of them down here to the back of the halfway house we were in and they killed them. Now rumour has it that these Scots still walk the water today haunting people trying to get revenge on the miners that took their lives. Now legend says they reside somewhere in here when it's quiet above up there in those two boulders. So if you see anything up there, let me know. Um, but yeah, if you feel a tap on your shoulder on the way back, it might just be the Scottish couple. Now there's been a sighting down here of a tour guide uh, called Josh. He was down here painting the boats. Uh, it was a very slow weekday, only person down here, and at the halfway house painting these boats. Um, and he heard a massive splash behind him. He turned around to look what it was, and on his empty boat he saw a woman with a cut up um, uh, bride dress on, cuts and bruises all over her face, sat at the back of his boat. No joke, he got that scared, he jumped on the boat and he swam the whole way back. Anyone believe me? You don't believe me? Okay, well I can prove to you all that I'm telling the truth. When you get out of here and you go to the gift shop and your guy's left hand side straight away is a glass cabinet. In that glass cabinet is a saddle. And that saddle is part of the back of the halfway house and it's a saddle the miners stole from the Scots all those years ago. And the story is behind it, the miners felt that bad about stealing it and killing the Scots. They never sold it on and those miners all that tragic death down here in the mines. I'll turn the lights back on now. <laughs> now the post shouldn't be too long, uh, about 10 minutes or so. Like I say, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. Good. Mm. 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 Mm.
very cold now. Yeah, it is cold, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think we'll be down here this long. Huh? I didn't think we'd be down here this long. <laughs> I want to get up where it's warm. You want to get up? Yeah. Give up and then... Get up yeah, where it's warm. Yeah. It's nice water, love. I think it's very cold. Oh, it is very cold. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put water in my face. Yeah. I think so. You know, when I was in the Philippines, yeah. uh, we like, there's, there's also a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the speed dog is, he's the speed dog's basically, he's the man who's going on. 